If you're overwhelmed by the number of different effects and plugins here in GarageBand, a great place to start can be the producer effects presets. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use them here in GarageBand, let's go. Welcome to another GarageBand five minute tip. If you'd like to learn a heap more about creating, recording and releasing your best music in GarageBand, check out the other videos in the description. In previous videos, we've showed you some of the presets such as the guitar and the vocal presets. But did you know that we also have this one, which gives you a whole heap of producer effects that you can use on any track. Let's show you how to use them. Here's a project that I created using some Apple loops, some MIDI instruments, and even a drummer track. And at the moment, it sounds like this. Sounds pretty good, but let's see if we can enhance this. I'm going to start with this piano sound. Let's solo it. And then what I want to do is tap on the microphone icon up the top here. At the moment, the preset this uses is clean. Let's tap in the middle there, or it'll be in the top left if you're on iPhone. And now let's tap on producer effects. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of different amplifier effects, filters, and even some stereo spread and tremolo sounds. Let's start with this one here, the shifting swirl. And you can see here it adds some stereo width and some direction that we can adjust here. If we hit done, we can now play this back and take a listen. And you can hear there you're getting that stereo effect, a little bit of tremolo sound. We can also change all of this so we can turn the stereo width up and let's adjust this direction to change up the sound. And you can see as I move things around, the output there changes because it's changing that. We've even got a feedback control here if we want to add a little bit more grit to this one. And you can tell there that you can get some pretty fun and different effects. So with this one, let's just dial it back down a little more. And if we bring this back into our mix, it gives us a great place to start to get a cool piano sound. Let's check out another producer effects preset. This time we're going to try this track here. Once again, we're gonna tap on the microphone icon, tap where it's got clean and go to producer effects. Let's try one of these echo type effects. What about the echo tape effect? Here you can see we've got intensity, feedback and echo tone dial in there if we take a listen now. Sounds very cool, yeah. And again, we can dial everything up. Let's put everything up pretty high and take a listen. So it's really changing the way this sound's going to work in our mix. Now, another cool thing is that this will actually also change the plugins and EQ settings if we tap on the mixer icon and then go plugins and EQ. So you can see here, if we turn off, for instance, the tape delay, it'll turn this one off. The cool thing is though, this tape delay effect doesn't actually exist if you wanted to try and add it individually. So some of these presets have some customized effects that you can only get by using these producer effects, which is what makes them so cool and unique here in GarageBand. If you want to use producer effects on a MIDI track, what you need to do is first merge the track. I recommend duplicating the track, copying it first, and then adding a copied pasted version down in here. And then we can select this one, tap on its icon and hit merge. This is going to turn this MIDI track into an audio track. And the reason that I copy it first is now I can mute out this original if I want to go back and adjust the sound afterwards. Now we simply select this track, tap on the microphone icon, tap in the middle, producer effects. And this time, let's check out one of these amplifiers. It'd be interesting to add the amped phaser to this electric piano sound. Out of the box, what do we get? Very cool and very different from our original electric piano that sounded like this. A final tip that works great with these producer effects is to blend in a second version. So if we didn't want quite as much of this affected sound, we can actually just turn that one down and bring it into our mix. Let's take a listen. There you have it, the hidden gems of the world of GarageBand, the very cool producer effects. If you'd like to learn a heap more, there's more videos down in the description and you can drop your questions down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.